couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I'll show you how you can create solos in fingerstyle, beautiful textures without knowing scales at all. And it has to do with superimposing different chord notes on different chords. Um, it sounds complicated, but it really isn't. It all has to do with visualizing. So let's take the key of G, okay, for example. So we have G. Okay, let's go over the chords. We have G, we have C, we have E minor, we have A minor, we have D, we have B minor, and we have F sharp half diminished. But let's leave that out of the equation. So B, E minor, C, A minor, B minor, and D. Now, if you put three on the sixth string uh, with your second finger and you play the G chord, okay? But you add the notes from the D chord into it, okay? Choose a rhythm and just add it at your leisure. Okay? Immediately you get that G major seven sound and if you play D with the G bass, Okay, you get a really interesting G major 7 chord, okay, major 7 add 9, but that's not what we're going for. We're gonna superimpose the D chord on G. Okay? See, nothing too complicated, just open strings and the D chord notes okay? with the G bass. So I'm superimposing D on G. You can superimpose the B minor notes. Okay? Okay, you have okay, these, these notes. So 3, 4, 4 on strings, 2, 3, and 4. Now, 4 on the 3rd string is the same note as the open 2nd string. So you can just use 3 on the 2nd string okay, and 4 on the 4th. So you can try to add both the D notes and the B minor notes. I'm not thinking about it, I'm just thinking about the notes I want to add. I hear the result and then I just open the strings again. And I'm doing nothing, you know, complicated rhythm wise. I'm just playing the bass, pagiating the chord, and adding random notes from the different chords and the scale. And <clears throat> I also added two on the fourth string, that's inside. E minor, C, and A minor, so you can add that as well. You can also add two on the third string from A minor. So let's add the A minor notes and see how that goes. Okay. And let's try to add, um, well, if we want to add the C notes, it's kind of the same as the A minor notes because we're not gonna play three on the bass because we're on G, okay? Um, that would lead to this. You can do it, of course. You can do three and two on the fifth string, okay, if you like. So let's, um, let's turn around with this. We'll stay on the G chord. Okay, and then you can do E minor and try the same the same thing, exactly the same thing. You see, you're playing the scale, but you don't know the scale. You didn't even play the scale, the scale shape once, even once. You just impose, superimpose the chord notes from the rest of the chords in the scale. And now this was a mistake. 
mistake because I'm I'm in G, so I should play C, but I played C sharp. So it sounds good if you can fit it in, but it was a mistake uh, for the purposes of this lesson. So I meant to do this. Go to four on the fourth string because that's inside B minor, so. And then go back to G. Then you can do A minor and do the same thing. Okay, and add the D chord notes. And then go back to G. You can do the same with C. It's a little bit uncomfortable because you need to use your pinky for all the soloing. See? Um, if you want to add the B minor chord notes, if you want to add the rest of the notes, you have most of them on. Um, so two on the third string, or opening the strength, okay? The open second string, the open fourth. And then go back to G, okay? Try a different chord, do the method, superimpose the chord notes, go back to G. together, so decided to go for A minor. Okay, you see, you can do them together. And now what do you do on D? On D, you can play around with the bass notes. And go back to G. And just... And play around. And then uh, do a bass transition, if you like. And just giving you options. Yeah, you can take this and explore Explore it in your own style. Um, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.